Good afternoon from Little Creek Bee Ranch. I want to give you some quick tips on how to install a queen cage. I get this question asked a lot. Typically a queen cage is going to have a candy end. There's the candy plug. It's going to have a cork in one end and then it have a cork in the, in the other end. But let's say you have a group of bees here that you aren't sure you have a queen in or not. You couldn't find any evidence or maybe it's a virgin queen you don't know. The first thing I tell my students is take the queen cage and bring it to the top of the frames and set it right on top of the frames. Just set it there. Shut one by. Yeah. And watch how fast the bees react to the cage. If they ball the cage real tightly, and if you can't rub your finger across it and get the bees off easily, there's a queen down inside there. Just hold your hold one hand on the cage. Take your finger and wipe off the bees and you ought to be able to wipe them off easily. That means they don't have a queen, they want a queen, they'll be scenting, they'll be coming up and on the cage. Three or four minutes later you ought to be able to wipe off the bees in the cage. That doesn't mean we just pop her open and let her out, but we can begin to introduce the queen into the colony. That saves you from just burning a $40 bug. Just sit, set the cage up there and watch them. Give them about three to five minutes. They'll sit and they'll smell and they'll come up all over the cage. If there's no queen in there, you can wipe your fingers right across that cage to get the bees off very easily. If there's a queen in here, the workers will be real offended and they'll fall her. They'll be like Velcro trying to get off the bees. And, and that way you know you have a queen down inside. Now we want to install her. So what I tell my students is take the cork out it may come out in pieces, so you're going to have to make sure you get all the cork out. All these bees in here need to be sprayed to smell the same. We want these bees to smell the same as the queen. So I teach them to use uh, room temperature grape juice to spritz the bees both sides and then spritz the queen once or twice, just real lightly. The candy plug goes up. That way if an attendant dies, she'll go down, she won't plug the hole. Then you're going to spread the, bee the frames apart. I hold my fingers like this and she'll go candy end up below the top rim of the frame and then squish her into some wax and make sure that that hole is not covered with any wax. You want to be able to see the hole of the cage. But she's actually getting squeezed into between two pieces of comb. I don't want her sitting like that for fear she'll fall down. She can't fall down face down. She can't be put in face to the comb. She has to be put in perpendicular with the screen towards the middle of the colony so the bees can feed her and smell her. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna put her in vertical candy end up underneath the top uh, edge of the, the wood of the top bar of the frame, okay? Leave her in there three to five days. Come back and check on her maybe day four to see if she's out and she's gonna go what a third of the way in see how far I'm in she's gonna go about a third of the way in so she's gonna be that far in okay so watch the film again I had to do a quick one just make sure that you let the bees do their thing and the bees will tell you if there's a queen in here or not just let them react to the queen pheromone if there's no no queen in there you can just wipe the bees off really easily and then you can work to spray the bees to make them smell the same. Cork plug comes out, goes in vertical. You'll have to hold your fingers like that. Goes below the, below the edge of the wood. Don't cover up the hole. Make sure it's clear. Don't let her fall down. All right? Watch this film a couple of times. It was a quick one. And you'll get the idea how to install a queen cage. See ya.